Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel once again. In this video, we are going to study about the basics of capacitor, basically the RC circuit. How does a capacitor behaves at time t equals 0, t equals infinity and when t is positive. Then we will also try to look at how does a current pass through the capacitor. What we know is capacitor is a device that consists of a parallel plates separated by dielectric. So even though there is dielectric between the plates of the capacitor, the current can pass through it. We will try to understand how does current pass through it. And then we will move to the equations of the current that passing through the capacitor, charging and discharging of the capacitor. So let us begin. So we will start with the simple RC circuit with a voltage source with and a resistor in series with a capacitor. At time t equals 0, right after closing the switch, let us say time t equals 0 plus, what will happen? The capacitor, what we know is capacitor will behave like a short circuit, right? But, but why does capacitor behave like that? Reason is the capacitor does not allow the sudden change in the voltage across it. But why? Because if you want, if we want some voltage across the capacitor, then we need to supply infinite current in very in very small amount of time as delta dt when dt approaches to 0 i equals c dv by dt when the delta t dt is very small then the i approaches to infinity right therefore to if we want certain voltage across the capacitor we need to supply infinite current which is practically impossible that is why the capacitor does not allow the sudden change in the voltage right after closing the switch. Now what happens? That is why we can say at t equals 0 the capacitor would be short circuit. So the new diagram what we will have here is at t equals 0 capacitor will be short circuit and here is our voltage V. So if you apply KVL we can find out the current passing through it and that would be I equals V by R. So it is simple battery connected with a resistor R. What happens at time t greater than 0? Case 2. When time is t is greater than 0 then when we close the switch the positive terminal and negative terminal we have. So electrons from the negative terminal terminal try to accumulate at the negative plates of the parallel plate capacitor and holes will accumulate at this point. Then so th this is the way the capacitor will start charging. Now so the charging of capacitor again we will try to find out the equation by the KVL. So let us apply KVL in this V minus I into R let us say current I is there at time t greater than 0. V minus I into R minus voltage across the capacitor and voltage across capacitor is Q equals C V. So V equals Q over C. So minus Q by C equals 0. Now if you differentiate on either side what we get here is it is a constant therefore this will give us 0 minus R di by dt minus 1 by C dq by dt equals 0. Now if you rearrange what we get is di by i equals minus 1 by rc i dt sorry it is just dt at time t equals 0 to time t equals t and here i equals 0 to i equals i right now if you integrate what we get is i equals i naught e power minus 1 by rc t by rc basically so this is the current equation at time t equals 0 in a simple RC circuit. Now if you put t equals 0, we get i equals i naught, that is initial current. So this is in the transient state of the capacitor. But there is current passing through the capacitor, right? But the capacitor has dielectric in between them, between the plates. But we know that the current cannot pass through the insulator. So we will try to understand how does current pass through it. So if you apply the Maxwell, Maxwell said in 1861 that there is something called displacement current and polarization current. So if you apply the electromagnetic theory 
and then we can write that JD equals epsilon naught E plus polarization P. Now this is the displacement current basically. This is the displacement current. So how does displacement current comes into picture? So as the electrons accumulate on the negative side and the holes on the positive plates of the capacitor, as the number of electrons keep increasing at the negative plate, the electric flux density also keeps increasing. So due to the increase in the electric flux or electric field intensity, the insulator have a crystal lattice, right? So in, in insulator what we have is positive and negative tightly packed in the lattice. So this la lattice breaks down. Due to break, uh, polarization of this, we get a polarization current. So due to polarization, the electrons displaces from the initial position and that constitutes to the displacement current in the dielectric between the plates of the capacitor which finally leads to the flow of current through the capacitor. Okay, So that's all about uh, the current passing in the circuit and through the capacitor as well. Now what happens at t equals infinity? At t equals infinity, the capacitor, if you put t equals infinity in this, what we get is i equals 0, right? So at time equals infinity, the capacitor will, there will not be any current in the circuit. What does it imply? It means the capacitor is fully charged because as the, until the uh, electrons and holes are accumulates, accumulating on the either side of capacitor, we are getting some charge. But when it stops, it means there is no flow of current in the circuit and then we can write down the new circuit as at time t approaches to infinity, the circuit what we have is R and this is open. So now this behaves as a voltage source. Okay. Now it is a capacitor with a voltage equivalent to this voltage. It means the capacitor is fully charged at time t equals infinity. Okay. So that's all about uh, RC basics of RC circuit in this lecture. In the next upcoming lecture, we'll try to understand uh, how does the capacitor or what is the output across the capacitor when we apply a step input. So stay connected. Hope you found this video insightful. Thank you. See you in the next video.